Hi, my name is Spencer Liu and today I'm going to talk with you about what is a reverse stock split. And probably the best way to illustrate this is to just use a recent example. So Citigroup recently did a reverse stock split and they did one that's uh, 1 for 10. So what they did was their price right now is 27 dollars uh, about twenty seven dollars per share and when they did this one for ten if you just divide the twenty seven by ten equals two point seven so basically companies do this to increase share price by reducing number of shares what does this mean for you if you own the stock? Absolutely nothing. You're getting fewer shares, so the price goes up, but the net effect is the same. So, for example, if I owned 100 shares of Citigroup at 2.7, that means I would have $270 worth. After the reverse of 1 for 10, I would have 100 divided by 10, or I'd have 10 shares worth $27, or again, $270. So the net effect is the same. Uh, they just reduced the number of shares to increase the stock price to maybe make it look more attractive for investors, but for you as an investor in the stock, it really doesn't make any difference. Unless it attracts more investors, which you'd hope would raise the price, but in Citi's group's case, it really hasn't done that. So, that's my explanation. Thanks for watching. I'm Spencer Liu, the finance guy.